Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about darkling beetles and handle ability for them and normal activities that they do. Now, darkling beetles is actually more of like, um, I think a genus of beetles. So superworms turn into darkling beetles, but we call them in the hobby Mario beetles. And mealworms turn into darkling beetles um, also, but we just call them dark darkling beetles even though I think it's more like Morioto? I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know why I said that with like an accent. I'll look it up real quick and then I'll get back to you. But, um, Mario is the beginning of Superworm's, um, scientific name. And then I think I'm gonna start calling these, well, I think I'll just call them mealworm beetles to make it easy. So these are mealworm beetles. After mealworms turn into pupa, they turn into beetles. I had three of them. Now I only have two, it looks like two of them ate the other one. Um, but I'm hoping that there's like eggs in here, like they've laid eggs and that I will get mealworms. But they come out really, really small, mealworms do, um, when they are, um, they come out super, super, super small. So I won't be able to see them until they grow, so. Now let's get into this video. Mealworms and superworms are species of darkling beetles, but the scientific name of these beetles, which are, like I said, mealworm beetles, are um, Tenebro molitor, molitor, something like that. It doesn't really matter, but they look like this, and um, I think we all know what they look like as mealworms. But um, hopefully I'll get some, again, like I was saying, if these breed, which would be really, really cool. Um, but handle ability is kind of, I keep saying this with insects, I need to create up a, set, a separate set of videos for insects because it doesn't really make sense for insects to do a handle ability slash behavior, but behavior kind of. So mealworms will mainly stay under um, the substrate. Now I use oats, which is what I you know, did research and that's kind of what came up to do. And they will take their food, and this is kind of in behavior, they'll take their food and they will bury it into the oats. Like, um, like you'll put, you'll put a piece of lettuce or, um, a piece of fruit or something like that and they will just, um, like bring it, if you have like a thick enough, um, oats layer or something like that, they will just bring it down into that, that, like they'll, they'll just kind of all eat at it and bring it under and um other than that then yeah they just stay under now the beetles i'll see out at night more um well actually i i don't know i don't really have like a light directly on them so um i kind of see them out every once in a while but most of the time they're hiding especially when i try to do anything with them now they're completely harmless as far as i know like they can't bite you or anything so handling them is fine like you can hold a ton of mealworms obviously they're fed to reptiles so um they're fine for you to hold as well and that is basically it for handleability and um types of things that they do and i guess when they breed they get on top of each other that's kind of a behavior of them but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and if you want more content then subscribe have a fantastic day and i will Hope to see you in the next video.